Alright, what's up guys, SN3 here, playing some more solo Minecraft adventures, of course. And, uh, as you can see, I've moved in every single thing from outside. Um, I have all this, and these three chests are filled. I made an armor stand for my soon-to-be awesome armor. See, that's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if I showed this or not, but, um, I made a wall here. I'm pretty sure I did at the end. But I added potion stands. So yeah, I added potion stands here. I added a brew stand here. I took out this piston because there was two. Um, I put a crafting table over this one. I have another potion stand here. I, and I did not make these potions. These are all ones that have dropped off of witches. Um, I have this stand thing here, the uh, tool stand. I feel like it really adds stuff. And then I have this bookshelf with just some enchanted books here. And I have the cauldron, which is not filled, which... Can I put lava in a cauldron? I cannot. Um, then I have to where you flip this switch. These come down. You walk straight through. And I still need to finish this up in here. And then I have my bed right there. Because uh, it made more sense for the bed to be in there than to be here. Uh, I have all my tin and copper and potatoes here. Uh, and this is really dark for some reason. Um... Now if we walk out this door here, you can see that I've finished up the ceiling, and I know this is crazy. If this is your first episode you've ever seen, I'm showing all this work that I've done. <laughs> yeah, I kind of played a little bit off camera, but technically the ceiling... Oh, I'm missing a piece of glowstone. <clears throat> technically the ceiling should have been done a long time ago. Uh, and as you can see, I put gold bl uh, blocks around here, and really... I need a lot more gold, and I changed up the glass on the floor from the big th uh, black three with the uh, white, and I changed it to the black, and then with the logo in the middle, kind of like pixeled, and I think this looks a lot better than the three. I don't know what I was thinking with the three, but this looks way better, because uh, that's all the channel colors. That over there is for a future episode. And so, yeah, let me just go ahead and walk up the stairs here. And as you can see, there's glass. And then we're here. And this was actually uh, all filled in with stone. And I mined all this out. So, as you can see, I've, I've done a good amount off camera. But I, uh, you know, I do like playing Minecraft. And this is kind of my own world. So, yeah. So, this water is from the garden up here, the flower garden, as you can see. And then it just kind of waterfalls down. And I wasn't sure about this look, but I really like it. Um, these stone st stairs here is kind of like the seat. It will not be stone. I'll change it to something else. Um, and then this cobblestone is going to be the uh, pillars of oak as the support beams. And then we have a look, um, like a balcony type look, looking over area, which makes it really awesome looking out that window. You can see the bridge and everything. Uh... And this is just glassed all the way up to here. And I'm thinking about putting this layer right here as um, another layer of gold blocks whenever I get more. And as you can see, it pretty much just opens up to here. And I feel like that, that looks a, a lot better. I have a good amount of creosote going. Actually, is this is done. Awesome. Sweet. I'm just making some more cold coke um, because I'm going to need it. Coal, yeah. Cool, goes there. Yeah, okay. I don't know why that was not staying. Uh, okay. Um, so today we are... <laughs> okay, so after all of that, after I showed you every single thing that's changed, today we're actually going to um, go work on the skeleton spawner. And I just now saw something. Uh, the bookshelves over here. So don't worry, I'm getting to the skeleton spawner. Let me just show you this last thing I changed. So... This was going to be bookshelves just like this, and it was going to be flat and a wall. But leather isn't the easiest to obtain. I, don't, I mean, I guess it is. Just go, go out and kill a bunch of cows or farm a bunch of cows, but uh, I just haven't done it. But I then ran, it, ran across these bookshelves after working in there, and I, I just put a bunch, and you can put books on them. You can put the enchanted books, so I might just start enchanting books every single time I hit level 30 throwing it on a shelf and making the library look better and it gives a little bit more depth to it 
I, and I added a waterfall here and I feel like that m makes it look a lot better uh, have a little bit of water have a little bit more color and the books just make it look really great because some books can be missing some books some bookshelves won't be okay so uh, let me go ahead and jump to the skeleton spawner and I will see you guys there alright guys so I'm at the skeleton spawner I'm just gonna take down a few trees and I've done this tree completely wrong uh, I'm just gonna take down a few trees because I want to make a crusher for this uh, spawner here and I want to make it I don't want to make a crusher like below ground I do want it to be above ground just so that way it makes it a little bit easier to walk up to uh, and I can actually cover up this cave here with dirt and you know make it look more like the mountain <clears throat> but what I have to do is take down probably a good amount of these trees and figure out where I want it to be and I think I have an idea now because this is going to kind of stack up higher and it's not going to be smooth maybe I'll make it just like a a hole in the wall uh, idea Let's see where's the stairs actually go down here so it'll come up and this is dirt right here so maybe I can just make it flow up and I can walk up to it like it, like it's a uh, booth or a, like a food truck or something like that uh, like here yeah, that's gonna look cool. So I'll have it here, and then I'll trail it. Oh, oh, ran out of cobblestone. What? And then I'll trail it over. So I'll do something like this. I'll build it up. Up. Boom. Okay. And then I'll probably put put it to where they drop, or not drop. Oh, okay. So I gotta make them rise too, and then move over. So. What I can do, hmm. Uh, I didn't even think about. No, no. Oh, it's a crusher, huh? Uh huh. So I guess it can be like this, and I'll put a piece of glass here so that way they can't shoot me, and I can just look down and hit them. Which means I will have some exposed redstone, so which means it cannot be there. I will. I will leave this wall here. And I'll make it, let's see, right, well, it's not going to be extended all the time. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. This will work. So I'll make it extended here. And then I'll make it to where they Get out of here, sheep. I'll make it to where they float up and then back here and then crush. Yeah. The blocks for the pistons and it goes, and then it crushes them, uh, but yeah and then it'll come back just like this uh, yeah th th I think this will work should be a piece of cake uh, and then I'll put a piece of glass like right there so it'll be like three panes that just go across like that and then it'll crush them and then it'll come back and paint's like half this, so then I can just. Yeah. Okay, so now all I need to do is work on actually making them drop down to water and then taking them over there, up, over there, up. Oh, let's see. Let's see, I gotta drop them. Probably gotta drop them at least. <laughs> let's see. Maybe. Th maybe. Uh, let's see. How far down do I need to go? I know they're spawning area. I normally give them like a three by three or yeah three by three but I think I'm gonna give them four so basically from here so basically from here and over and <coughs> there so as you can see I kinda gave a little bit of border went all the way around the spawner but I'm just I'm probably gonna cover up this back wall and then I'll make it go back just like this so all of this will not be here which that should give them a good amount uh, of room to spawn and I will have to probably go around more of these caves here and um, actually light areas up which is gonna be fun 
So yeah. Uh, uh, I know this episode is not coming out on the right time. It's like it's let's see, it's like Sunday now. Probably come out Tuesday or Wednesday. And I know this is not the right time, and I'm really late. But I just started school, so I wasn't expecting it to be uh, not as hard, but as as tiring as as it was. So. Sorry, I'm going to try to keep on track now. kind of have my schedule down. So I should be able to get episodes out more. And uh, just remember, if uh, if you have any ideas, go ahead and put it in the comments. And I'll, re I'll look at it. And I'll see if it's a great idea. And if, like, if you say, I don't know, um, build, build a maze out of leaves. And I build a maze out of leaves, I'll put your name in the beginning of the maze. And... I'll give you credit and it'll always be there forever and ever. So, yeah. So that's that. And then this needs to be basically all walled in. And over here it needs to be walled in too. And I'm just going to use cobblestone because you're probably not going to come down here and look at it and be like, ooh, cobblestone. That's so gross. And I mean, it's a spawner anyways. You don't want any light. So, really, you're not going to be able to see it at all. <laughs> give me this block. I don't care if they spawn or not. Go ahead and cover this up here. Get make it a little bit dark in here. Ran out of blocks already. All right, so I pretty much need to drop them, and then it needs to go. Let's see, here's the spawner. I want there to be plenty of airspace for them to spawn, and I don't totally remember all of sp about spawners because this is the first skeleton spawner I've had, and this is awesome. So. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there should be plenty. I'll put water here. So I should give them like two two clearances. Let's see. Source block. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Do I have a bucket of water on me? I do. Awesome. I'll put this lava in here. Put that in there. Put that in there. That in there. Let's see. I have another bucket of lava, actually. It's, nah, it's copper. All right, how far does this flow? All the way to here. Okay, so perfect. Okay, so that's actually not perfect. It's the drop-off point. Okay, so I'm going to lose wall somewhere, and I don't know what's back this way. It looks like nothing. So it should be okay. Give me my water back. So I will lose this back wall here, which should be okay. And I mean, I could always work around it, but then if if they spawn like right here, actually, I don't have to. It shouldn't matter because they spawn there. I'll have other water transferring them. I, I don't I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm trying to build live, and this is really hard. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just clear all of this out. And I don't know if you guys saw before, like exactly got what I was doing here so like all of this will go and it'll just be down to here then I'm going to where's my water I'm going to do this and it's gonna flow woo to here and then from here I have to put buckets of water on this end and on this end so that way they flow out and then it'll it should take them just a little bit farther I'm not sure Just a little bit farther and then I will have an elevator which goes straight up Let's see about here not well actually beyond this somewhere back there and then it'll go straight up as high as it can go and then it will go over and then I'll have another stream so that way they fly in like through here and where actually are they going to come out so right here which is really great makes it easy and then I will have uh, probably have other chests and things over here just to make it kind of look like a little shop area and yeah this is going to be awesome I'm, I'm actually playing minecraft it's been like probably close to a week since I've actually played minecraft so it's uh this is good I'm going to go ahead and clear all this out, and I'll be back whenever I have a lot of that done. So, yeah, see you guys then. Alright, so I have uh, kind of designed the outside a little bit. I put all the water in, I put the stream in and everything. 
Um, so as you can see, I'm going to go for this uh, stone brick and then the tree look. And no, it's not because that's the only thing I had on me, but that does play a big role. Um, but I mean, it looks good. Look kind of medieval ish. I'm going to cl clear out, put some dirt here. Um, maybe shape a little bit of the stone around here. Um, but I really like this. So all I have to do is build the crusher, which will go back or that way, basically. But now I actually need to go down there and show you guys the uh, what it looks like. So that way you know. Um, so this is what it is, basically. You have just the room where they spawn in midair. Ah, oh, those blocks are going to suck. I mean, those torches. Um, so they spawn in midair. They drop down. They flow all the way here. So... I'll just show you. So, what? Oh, I just spawned right here. Oh, drop. And then you flow down like here. And this is a great way to test um, everything that you build. It's just um, kind of float and just not move. And then it comes down to here where then they will hit water and they will swim up. Just like this. And then they will be pushed to here, where glass panes will stop them. And I feel like that's really great. So, yeah. Dang it. All I need to do is uh, build the crusher, which I will most likely do off camera because I do not remember how to actually build it. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll build the crusher off camera and I know I know all this off camera stuff but all right guys so I have uh, went ahead and finished up the skeleton spawner look outside and um, as you can see it's changed a little bit there's just this big open area right here but don't worry uh, chests are gonna be here I had them um, going I guess like that not like this um well I had them going across like that and after thinking about it, that's not really efficient, and that means that I can not hold as much as if I do it this way. Um, and it goes up pretty high, and I have the glass here, and I actually had to raise this up uh, does that one, two, two blocks, just so that way they'd fall into here. And I actually got the redstone for the crusher to work really quickly. Uh, as you can see here, I was not expecting it to uh, be this easy but I pretty much got it second try so uh, it's pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate right now as you can see there's skeletons here and push the button and then it crushes them and it goes across through there uh, pretty simple right just, let me just put this dirt back and then you you just have to hit them and I only have to add one thing because as you can see there is some in there with 20 like that one just gonna kill him uh, and I put this hopper here just to pick up uh, other things that I don't reach while hitting and it's a little hard to hit so I might see but I can't get low here actually I don't I don't know maybe I could put a half slab right here oh, I have no idea um, but I do need to put a piston up here uh, probably right there and just a lever so that way I can flip uh, flip the lever and then it will uh, actually I might put it on the top no I'll put it right here uh, so that way I can flip the lever and that way um, as you can see they spawn back there so that way it'll just stop that um, and sorry that it's raining uh, but I just I couldn't sleep it's still day technically so uh, yeah got the skeleton spawner working uh, awesome it works out great and I was watching another clip and I said that this was the first skeleton spawner that I've had and it's not the first one that I've ever had in Minecraft it's just the uh, first one that I've had in this world and this is the best way to get XP you also get bone meal and you uh, get arrows from it so skeleton spawner is the best spawner and I'm probably gonna have to put an enchantment table I'll probably put it 
on the back here and just so that way I don't have to run back and forth to enchant once I hit 30 because I plan on AFKing here a good amount so I might just leave this spot open here so I can just sit here um yeah so this is the basically the end of the episode guys uh I just for this episode I was just gonna work on the skeleton spawner I showed you more of me building it instead of just cutting in and out uh so yeah uh Thanks for watching, and just remember, if you liked the video, obviously click the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, if you have any ideas for any Minecraft build, go ahead and throw it down in the comments, and if I build it, then I will put your name on it, and yeah, that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.